Recently, once our puzzle-solving machine has deciphered the position of the tile from the visual image, its task becomes that of actual solving the puzzle. One technique that might come to mind is to pre-program the machine with solutions to all possible arrangements of the tiles. Then the machine's task is merely to select and execute the proper program. However, because even this simple puzzle provides a total of 181,440 different configurations, the idea of providing an explicit solution for each is certainly not inviting and probably not even possible when time and storage constraints are considered. We are thus forced to approach the problem in terms of programming our machine to solve the problem itself. Consequently, the program we develop must provide the machine with the ability to make decisions, draw conclusions, and in short, perform elementary reasoning activities. Production systems. The development of reasoning ability within a machine is a current topic of research. And uh, as with any subject, of current research debate exists over which technique or theory is the correct one to pursue. For our purposes, we approach the subject in the context of production systems. A production system consists of three main components. One, a collection of states. Each state is the situation that might occur in the application environment. The beginning state is called the start or initial state. The desired state, or states, is called the goal state. In our case, the stored state is uh, the configuration of the puzzle when handed to the machine. The goal state is the configuration of the solved puzzle. To a collection of productions, or rules, a production is an operation that can be performed in the application environment to move from one state to another. Each production may be associated with uh, preconditions, that is, uh, conditions may exist that must be present in the environment before a production can be applied. Productions in our case are the movements of tiles. Each movement of a tile has the precondition that the vacancy must be next to the tile in question. 3. A control system. The control system consists of the logic that solves the problem of moving from the stored state to the goal state. At each step in the process, the control system must decide which of those productions whose preconditions are satisfied should be applied next. Given a particular state in our eight postal example, there would be several tiles next to the vacancy and therefore several applicable productions. The control system must uh, decide which tile to move. From the point of view of production systems, the task of developing an intelligent machine is to implement the control system as a program stored in the machine. This program inspects the current state of the target system, identifies a sequence of productions that leads to the goal state and executes this sequence. To this end, the control system constructs an algorithm to solve this initial problem using productions as building blocks. The main obstacle to designing our puzzle-solving machine is the development of this control program. This we do in the following sections. For now, we should present the concept of a state graph which is a convenient way of uh, representing, or at least uh, conceptualizing all the states, productions, and the preconditions in a production system. Here we use the term graph in its mathematical sense, meaning a collection of locations called uh, nodes connected by arrows or arcs. A state graph consists of a collection of nodes representing the states in the system connected by arcs representing the productions that produce movement from one state to another. Two nodes can be connected by an arc 
in the state graph if and only if a production is in the system that can be used to transform the system from the state at the origin of the arc to the state at the destination of the arc. Preconditions are implicitly represented by the absence of arcs between certain nodes. We might emphasize here that just as the number of possible states prevented us from explicitly providing predesigned solutions to the 8 puzzle, the problem of magnitude prevents us from explicitly representing the entire state graph. A state graph is then a way of uh, conceptualizing the problem at hand, but not something that we would consider expressing in its entirety. Nonetheless, you may find it helpful to consider and possibly extend the portion of the state graph for the 8 puzzle displayed in the figure. Note that in terms of the state graph, the problem faced by the control system becomes one of finding a sequence of arcs that leads from the start state to the goal state, because this sequence of arcs represents a sequence of productions that solves the original problem. This is uh, the context in which our control system functions. Moreover, observe that there is nothing unique about the 8 puzzle that allows us to conceptualize the production system in terms of the state graph. Such a representation is applicable in any production system, and thus the formulation of problems in terms of uh, production systems provides a uniform approach to the problem-solving process. That is, regardless of uh, the application, the control system involved always reduces to the problem of finding a path through a state graph. To emphasize this point, we close this section by observing how some popular tasks can be formulated in terms of uh, production systems and uh, thus of state graphs. Other applications. One of the old standbys in the area of artificial intelligence is the playing of games such as chess. Such games involve a moderate complexity in a well-defined context and hence provide an ideal environment for testing theories. In chess, the states are the possible board configurations, the productions are the moves of the pieces, and uh, the control system is embodied in the players, human or otherwise. The start node of the state graph represents the board with the pieces in their initial positions. Branching from this node are arcs leading to those board configurations that can be reached after the first move in a game. Branching from each of these nodes, one finds those configurations reachable by the next move, and so on. With this formulation, we can imagine a game of chess as consisting of two players, each trying to find a path through a large state graph to a goal node of his or her own choosing. Perhaps a less obvious example of a production system is the problem of drawing logical conclusions from given facts. The productions in this context are the rules of logic that allow new statements to be formed from old ones. For example, the statements all students work hard and John is a student can be combined to produce John works hard. Similarly, Mary and George are smart can be reworded as neither Mary nor George is not smart. States in such a system consists of collections of statements known to be true at particular points in the deduction process. The third state is the collection of basic statements, often called uh, axioms, from which conclusions are to be drawn, and a goal state is any collection of statements 
that contain the proposed conclusion. As an example, the figure shows uh, the portion of a state graph that might be tra traverses when the conclusion. Socrates is mortal is drawn from the collections of statements. Socrates is a man, all men are humans, and all humans are mortal. Where we see the body of knowledge shifting from one state to another as the reasoning process applies appropriate productions to generate additional statements.